Harbinger is buffer buffer tanks. Um, we'll start at the very beginning here. Buffer tanked means I have a huge buffer. Such a big buffer. The um, <laughs> I have a 1600 plate, which as you can see gives me a, a bunch of armor, and then I have resist. Okay, and and buffer tank survives on the idea that I have enough armor with enough resist that you're just gonna take. It's gonna take you a while to to chew through it all. Like, I'm not going to rep, I'm not going to regen, I literally am just going to bring so much armor that it's going to take you, you know, I'll kill you before you can take all my armor from me. That's buffer tanking. Active tanking, which is my favorite, I, I love active tanking. Like, you want to talk about, I mean, it can go wrong, don't get me, I, I think, I think that's sort of the appeal of it, though, is it's much more dangerous to active tank. Like a buffer tank, you just, you have the buffer you have. There's nothing you can do. There's no module activations. I mean, you might be able to overheat hardeners, but what you go out with is what you go out with. That's it. Active tank is like, you really got to pay attention. Heat management, module activation timing, everything like that. So, but we'll cover active tanking. But, but the important parts here are that Say you are a shield buffer. Do I have any shield buffers? I believe Ominous is a shield buffer. Yeah, okay, so here's a shield buffer to show you. I mean, this is not a great ship to shield buffer because it only has three mid slots. This was experimental, just leave me alone. Not a great fit, that's why it's still here in station and not out PvPing, but. So here's what that would look like. Shield extender, you know, some resist, and that's it. That's all I have. This has no point web. Don't tell me. I know. Again, that's why it's not out PvP. Um, but that's what that looks like. And then you can see the lows. I had to put fitting, but you can see the lows are damage and a nano to make it faster. But really here, the important part, buffer, couple of resists, modules, mind you, a couple of resist modules in the same slots as your tank. That's what the invuln was for. You get the large shield extender, you get the invulnerability field in the mids. Um, so a couple of resist modules. Not tons, because you've got a huge buffer. You don't need it to be 90% resist. Just get enough to be reasonable. And the damage control obviously helps that. If you're going for a buffer tank, look for um, 60s across the board. Sometimes you will get that. Sometimes you'll be just below. You'll be 58. That's okay. That's that's fine. If you've got a, enough raw buffer, enough raw armor, then 60s is okay. You, you're not going to get 100% resist. Um, and the great thing about buffers is, as you notice in the Mermin, and I have to have cap injectors and all that, and that takes up on the mids. But here, like this is it. I, I don't have to manage my tank at all. I turn my damage control on, and guess what? My tank's done. It's all a very passive tank. And that frees up these mid slots as opposed to cap injectors. I can put this tracking disruptor, scram lab, all that. Um, now, the important thing here that Days is kindly enough sort of throwing me the slow pitch on is the rigs. I have three medium Trimark armor pump rigs. Okay, those are buffer rigs. All right, these increase the amount of armor by, what is it, 10, 15? Okay, 15. There is a drawback, though. Since I have three, each one does a little bit less, but don't worry about it. Um, that That's a speed drawback. That's not the drawback on the actual model. It slows me down because they're armor. Armor makes you slower because it's heavy. Makes sense. But So I have three Trimark armor rigs. That's part of the reason my armor is as big as it is because just the plate, it's not going to give me that much armor. These try marks make a big deal, or a big difference, excuse me. All right, so that's passive tanking, or buffer tanking. It should be fairly straightforward. You fit a shit ton of, of shield, or you fit a shit ton of armor, rig it for some buffer. Occasionally, one of these will be changed to a resist rig. So in this case, same, instead of 51, say my resist was a 45 on explosive, okay? That's really low, and that's going to be a hole. So uh, one of these, I would switch to an anti-explosive, right? Just to get that resist to a, a little bit more reasonable place. But the emphasis here is buffer. If you're going to do a buffer tank, buffer tank it the whole way. Rigs and the whole bit. Very, very, uh, occasionally you'll have to put one resist rig. But 
that's it. Should be fairly straightforward here. I have a limited number of BCs fit to use as examples, so I'm trying to do what I can. Um, 